It's the time for Package from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I wanted to take a close look at the Family Pocket Wireless TV Stick. So I have seen a lot of these sticks nowadays on AliExpress. And basically I bought them all because I want to check it out here for you guys. What are the differences and what are we going to get? So we, we need to leave the box. It is a 4K HD television wireless TV game stick. But there is a catch. Yeah, this is more like the epic fail moment of some of these products. So when you take a close look at the box over here, more like the right bottom corner, you can see we're having an HDMI and an AV out function. And more like, wait, an AV out 4K. That doesn't make any sense. No, indeed, because it doesn't make any sense. Okay, so let's open it up and I just wanted to give you a quick look inside. So I do like the packaging itself, but the first epic fail. So it looks like a stick, but there is nothing to stick with the USB stick because there is no connection like HDMI. Because we're having here a jack input, it's the tiny version and it's for AV out. So let's take a close look at the other parts and all the stuff we're going to get, like a controller, two of them to be exactly. Another thing is that there are just basic weird controllers that I've seen before. We're having shoulder buttons. It's more like this weird D-pad. And not to forget. Hmm, it doesn't smell chemical at all. Select start, menu button. And we're having here the option for player one, play two. Quite interesting. Not to forget, we're going to get the AV out cable, the micro USB for not charging, but this time for giving this thing some juice. And this very flimsy short cable for AV out. And by the way, it's even in mono. Oh, this is going to be a very horrible experience. I can tell you already. Then we're having the wireless TV stick with some basic information, eight emulators or simulators. But it was more like, yeah, it's all fun and game, but I wish they were just selling the HDMI version because this is not going to be a good experience. AV out and mono sound. The cables that come with the product is quite interesting. So I think more about having these portable displays that have an input for audio and also the, the signal input that we're going to see where the jack. Therefore, they're also going to give you an extra, let's say, converter cable. So you not can only use it on SCART television, but also more like portables. I've seen this before with plug and play devices. Hmm, interesting. But connecting this is just, in my opinion, a pain in the ass, simply because we're going to need a freaking 5 volt and I don't have any USB connections on my television. So the thing that I need to do, grab myself a phone charger for the 5 volts that we're going to need. Okay, plug in the cables over here and let's take a close look at a 5 volt charger so we can hook it up and let's see if it's even good. So after some tinkering with the controllers, I finally got it to work. The image itself is not that bad for an AV out signal. I rather to see an HDMI signal, of course. But okay, so this is what you're going to get with the AV out function today. So let's take a close look at it and what kind of systems are we going to get. So because this is more like a multi system in one, it is very similar to the family pocket that I've reviewed for a very long time ago with the normal handheld that they put different emulators in. Okay, here we're having the list itself, and when you're pressing the left and right, you can go to the next emulator. So we have the Arcade, Super Famicom, Famicom, Mega Drive, Master System, Game Boy Color, kind of weird that they're choosing a Dreamcast controller for Game Gear, and we're having the Game Boy games. So there's quite some different basic stuff that you can play with, is, let's say USB or HDMI dongle, just this weird tiny AV out stick lookalike game system. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a quick look at the game list itself. Basically what you're going to get here at the left side are just all the files. And sadly there is no normal title. When we go to the next game, we're having here the tiny preview. Looks not bad at all for basic yeah, AV out stick. And surprisingly, with this cheap stick, we're also having a quick load and quick save option like the family pocket handout that we reviewed some quite some time ago. It's quite interesting that they also put it on this game stick. Alright, so let's try the first game. And I must say that I'm quite surprised to see how good this system is running on the cheap stick. Sadly, the image looks pretty poor on my LCD television. When you combine this when I see it here, it will look a little bit better. Oh, 
Okay, so next up. You can see that the Super NES part is running quite choppy. It's, I can see the animations. Sadly, I can't show any FPS in this game. I didn't know that all the bots are mapped correctly, so far I can see. Next up, Spank Man! Na 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 Spank Man! Spank Man! Alright, so let's see how this plays. Okay, I'm guessing the other buttons aren't just turbo buttons. No, still the buttons don't do anything. I must say the D-pad set plays surprisingly well on this controller. It's not the biggest controller I've seen, but... It's very comfy. I like it. You know what they say? Get to the chopper. Get to it now. This game seems to be running pretty smoothly. And that's what you're going to get with these cheap stuffs. More like sometimes the emulators are decent enough to enjoy the games. It's almost looking horrible, but this game seems to be running just fine. There's no some sound difference between the emulators, that's just a fact. And it just stopped working. Alright, just great. Okay, next one. Okay, but nevertheless the first game didn't work or it worked part of the game board. I just wanted to give you a quick look how the games, even if it boot up, how does it play. So that's what you're gonna get with this cheap stuff more like. Errors, crashes. And some of the game doesn't boot up at all. And if it boot up, sometimes they are not running that bad. Okay, so let's try and see that Game Gear game and let's see how they are looking and running. This is this thing is going to freaking finally run. This one seems to be working. Oh man, it looks really horrible on... What is this? A 70 inch screen. That looks freaking awful. But the emulation itself is not bad at all. Okay, so last up, let's try a Game Boy game. Did notice there was no Game Boy Advance, so it's kind of weird that in basically skip the Game Boy Advance stuff, because in my opinion it's one of my favorite systems. It has a lot of great games, but in my opinion it's a big bummer and a bit makes that it's not on the system. Okay guys, so the first thing I don't really get is that it gave me to give us an option for AV out and HDMI. Are we not done with the AV out stuff? It seems to be not. But okay, so I was a little bit disappointed seeing that they sent me the AV out one because I wanted to try out the HDMI version. And this is going to be the new generation of HDMI and it seems to be AV out sticks out there. So the device is not super bad when it comes to the emulation, especially when you're looking at the money you're paying for it. There is an SD card and it is highly possible you can just basically add new games to the card because what you're doing is going into the list and you're going to click on the file you want to load up but i did notice that some games didn't load up so controller i must say i'm surprised i did see this one before 
basically six buttons so for all the systems that we're having on the stick it's more than enough the d-pad is a kind of weird version you don't see it very often it's a little bit crooked but nevertheless it doesn't feel that bad so this is what you're going to get with the av out game stick the family pocket edition i want to thank you for watching consider subscribing hit the bell become one of the wicked family and i will see you in the next video